Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today is gonna to be a color day and how to get your colors just right every single time. So I'm sure you guys are aware of by now that I am the inventor of the Focus Pyramid, the autofocus lens calibration tool, as well as the PRT, which is the photo reference tool. Now, the PRT is what I wanna to talk to you guys about today and getting your color just right. It was reformulated as of late and we just received an entire palette in which is being now transported throughout the world. So you'll find it on Amazon, you'll find it in B&H, you'll find it on my website and small mom and pops, like I said, worldwide. So what does it do? This is the PRT, this is what it looks like. So if you find it on a shelf, this is what you will see. Beautiful girl, red hair. Now, the PRT was designed for me to solve a problem. Now, I needed to get color right quickly. I was doing a lot of weddings, a lot of events, I was shooting thousands and thousands of images, and I was just spending a lot of time, image by image, getting the color right. Finally, I started shooting a gray card, and it really changed my life. It helped so much, but the gray card was okay. It gave me neutral lighting, but Neutral is not always good. Neutral is kind of sterile, right? We don't really want that. We wanted something better. And the gray card as it stood was really small. It really didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So I created the PRT, the photo reference tool. And I also created what is called dual axis color control. So let me start out by saying what I used to do, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this yourself. You shoot an image, and then later on in post-production, you take a look at the image, it's extremely yellow. Let's say you're in a wedding inside of a church and it's just horrible, horrible yellow lighting. So what do you do? You go into your slider and you take your slider and you move it over to blue and now everything gets a little bit more neutral, a little bit more blue and it looks better, right? You guys do it, I'm sure you guys do it. Stop doing it, stop doing it. It's not enough. Why is it not enough? because you've now taken an image and turned it blue, okay? You've added all this blue to it, but you have not taken into consideration your tint, your magenta and green. That was the reason why I put together the dual axis color control. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. Now, there's two ways of doing color. You can either do it in pre-production or in post-production or in both. Now, what I was doing for when I started shooting the gray card, what I would do is I would shoot the gray card later on in post-production, I would click on the gray card in the image and voila, I would have a neutral image. That's great. Then I got wise to saying, well, you know what? Instead of having to push the image so far because sometimes I was losing some color data, let's get it semi-correct in camera. So I would take the card, the gray card, I'd bring it really close to the camera and I would take that shot and I would use that shot as a custom white balance. That was much better because now everything in that light was perfect or close to perfectly neutral. And then I can go and push and pull and change things after the fact. That worked great. Well, one of the reasons I put together this gray card that has a target in it was a problem that I had. I would take the gray card, I'd stick it really close to the camera. What would happen? The lens would go in and out, in and out, in and out. It couldn't focus, obviously, because it was nothing but a gray card in the image. So I put a target in the middle. Now it just simply locks up and I don't have to take my camera lens, move it over to manual, take the shot, move it back to AF to autofocus and move on, right? Problem solved. Next, let me get into the dual axis color control and why I put this together. Now, like I said, we want to take care of the yellow to blue, but we also wanna take care of your green to magenta. We wanna balance it between the four. So of course you can go into Lightroom and slide your sliders all over the place and constantly do that. But why do that? Why don't you just get it right by just simply clicking? Just a simple mouse click and you just have it right. Now, how does this work? You have one side that has the little sunshines on it that's gonna warm the image and you have the other side that's going to cool the image. But what happens here is when, for example, we're warming an image and adding yellow to it, we're going to, on one side, we're gonna add green and on the other side, we're gonna add magenta. Why? Because your shot's going to either need magenta or need green to be able to get to a real balanced spot or to a spot that you just love it. Lighting is about creativity. 
Lighting is not always being sterile or neutral. You want to be able to add your yellow and blue, but you want to also be able to add a balanced amount of tint your green to magenta. And that's what this allows you to do. And as you can see here on the cloud side, this right here would cool your image, but also adding magenta or green tint to it. So you end up with the perfect image, the image that you feel is perfect for that specific setting. All right. Once you have that, you can copy this to a thousand other pictures that you've taken at that specific lighting condition or that specific spot and all of them will be perfectly balanced. Perfect every single time. You're not doing image by image by image and playing around with the color. This saved me hours and hours and hours of work over the years, hours, thousands of dollars worth of my time just simply by using this. Finally, on the other side that has your gray card, we have here a grayscale. What we use this for is getting your exposure just right. How does that work? You take that picture and you look at your grayscale. Now, you turn on, let's say in Lightroom or whatever you're using, your highlight alerts or your shadow alerts. Now, the second one down should not be overexposed. If it is, you're now losing approximately 10% of your highlights. Not good. The same thing going up on the other side. Let's say if you have three plugged, okay, you're now losing 20, 30% of your shadows are plugged. Not good. Finally, you have your RGB as well as your cyan, magenta, and yellow. This is more for a reference. Once again, this is a reference card. So once you open up your package, you're going to see your card as well as the back side will have the instructions on it. Everything that we just went over is basically here in black and white. It's super, super simple. You just can read through this and it'll tell you exactly everything that I just said on how to do this. Once again, getting your color right pre-production in camera by shooting a gray card, which will be the backside of this, and now setting your camera to custom white balance, very simple, or in post-production to be able to use the gray card to neutralize your image, set your exposure so it's perfect. And then finally, with the dual axis color control system to get your tint just right as well as your color. Super simple, right? Super simple, easy. And honestly, like I said, it has saved me thousands and thousands of dollars of my time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. What I'm going to do is, like I said, you can go and pick this up at B&H or at Amazon or all over the place in local camera stores. But for one week, if you pick it up over at my website, jchristina.com, and when you check out, you use coupon code PRT20, you're going to get 20% off for this entire week. All right. Pick it up if you already don't have one. If you have one, pick up another one. Give it away as a present to a photographer. I promise you, you will absolutely love it. And any photographer you give this to will thank you for it. I promise. Anyways, guys, that's it. As always, if you enjoy my content, please throw me a big, massive thumbs up. That would be stellar. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the little bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you in the next vlog.